Margaret Burkholder, Vail Unified School District. Margaret Burkholder began her service on the Vail Unified School District Governing Board in 2005. In those 12 years, she has served in the board president and board clerk positions. Throughout her service, Margaret not only cheered the district on with innovative and sometimes even risky endeavors, but has been committed to serve on numerous district committees and to see the ideas come to successful fruition. Margaret has been an active member of ASBA since her election in 2005, not only serving on committees, but also working hard to further her own learning to maximize her time while serving as a member of the board. She has served as a member of ASBA's Legislative Committee for two years and an officer of ASBA's Black Caucus for three years and has been a presenter at several ASBA conferences. One of her most memorable presentations helped instruct fellow board members across the state on Empire High School's successful launch as the country's first high school to open as a one-to-one -one all laptop high school. If life could be compared to a washboard road, Margaret Burkholder rides the high spots. She does not waste time dipping down into the ruts and valleys. Margaret's always dreaming and pushing forward towards the vision of a better tomorrow. Congratulations to Margaret Burkholder. Sandy Nielsen's commitment to community service and public education is manifested in the many capacities in which she has served during most of her life. She has served on the Littleton Elementary School District Governing Board since 2006. Prior to this venture, she was a governing board member in the Marana Unified School District in 2003. In 2013, she received an award for being part of a highly effective board. She helps orient all the new board members to their roles and responsibilities as elections bring changes to the membership. She can be found at ASBA conferences and workshops, mentoring not only new Littleton members, but also new board members from across the state as she shares her passion for helping children. Sandy continues to share the information and practices she learns at these events with other governing board members and stakeholders. She has made recommendations to the district on behalf of students and offered support to district initiatives based on the knowledge acquired at these conferences. Parent, volunteer, and advocate. These three words best describe Sandy and all she brings to the Littleton Elementary School District. Congratulations to Sandy Nielsen. Richard Hopkins has served on the Buckeye Elementary School District Board for 10 years. Richard also served on the Ruth Fisher Governing Board for two years, winning election in 1986. In his 10 years with Buckeye, he has helped lower the property tax rate by 20% and helped the district with its goal to give employee raises seven of the last 10 years and be recognized as one of the top three fiscally responsible districts in Arizona for having the most efficient administration. Richard has volunteered thousands of hours helping raise funding for school districts and since 2000 has helped raise at least $328 million for the neighborhood district schools. Over the summer, he has also spoken with many legislators, city, and county elected officials on education issues. In the last school year, he helped to get an ordinance passed in the city of Buckeye prohibiting smoke shops from locations within 1,000 feet of schools or of each other. In 2008, he represented several West Valley school districts before the School District Redistricting Commission and was successful in helping defeat that effort in those communities. In this year's legislative session, Richard was the only school board member to testify in both the House and Senate against cuts to desegregation funding. Without a doubt, the Buckeye Elementary School District is lucky to have such a dedicated school board member serve its students. Congratulations to Richard Hopkins. Michelle Hirsch, Kyrene Elementary School District. Michelle Hirsch's enthusiasm and commitment to education is evident in every aspect of her work, not only on the Kyrene Elementary School District Governing Board, but throughout the Kyrene community. She is skilled at collaboration and has been effective in advocating on behalf of education in the community, evidenced by her work on the political action committees for both Kyrene and Tempe Union High School District in campaigns in support of bonds and overrides. Michelle served on the Fine Arts Task Force that developed the concept which eventually became the Fine Arts Academy, the first of its kind in Kyrene. Her commitment to the education of the whole child 
was evidenced in her fight to maintain the inclusion of special area instruction during the extreme budget cuts Kyrene faced several years ago. When additional funding through Prop 123 became available this year, Michelle advocated restoring the levels and frequency of instruction of specials in the middle schools. A change affected this current school year. Michelle has always been a vocal and consistent supporter of Full Day Kindergarten. She continues to encourage legislators to visit district kindergarten classes to see firsthand the level of learning taking place to garner their support. In recent months, Michelle, along with a fellow board member, has been working with the state representative on the development of a pilot program that would screen pre-kindergarten children for dyslexia and other specific learning disabilities. Michelle continues to support Kyrene students and staff in all she does. Congratulations to Michelle Hirsch. Donna Young, Creighton Elementary School District. As a governing board member for 10 years in the Creighton Elementary School District, Donna Young is the definition of a servant leader. Donna believes in equal access for all students to an excellent education. She has advocated for the refugee students at Larry C. Kennedy Elementary School and for programs to be put in place to assist their transition. She offers her support with English language learners and promotes ways for families to become involved in their students' education. Donna supported the creation of a gifted program offered to students who need a more challenging curriculum. She has also supported enrichment programs such as the Junior Ambassador Program. Donna Young has been a proud, active participant in ASBA and NSBA for over 10 years with no plans of stopping. Most importantly, Donna makes it her duty to bring back the information that she learns from these professional development opportunities to educate her fellow board members and superintendent on best practices and new ideas. Donna's mission above all else is always for her actions and interests to benefit children. She continues to work in the background to support Creighton leadership and advocate for all students and teachers. Congratulations, Donna Young.